we used the fill more until the spring. And I think um, I looked at several locations, but for me, I just wanted something that really stood out. Um, and I think above all, the dynamic of the space. Um, and I didn't want for the head ties to kind of cover the guests that were in the back. Because normally the older folks would sit towards the front, the younger folks would sit towards the back. It was 450 to 475 people. I kind of wanted like my younger folks to be more relaxed and to still be able to be a part of the experience. And for the older folks to be able to also have their own sort of atmosphere without both of them clashing. And I think the lighting of the space um, is multi-million dollar lighting. Um, and that right there was very important to me as well as um, they had a lounge area that we wanted to use for the after party um, while the band was playing upstairs. So that was very important um, when I chose the stage. Well, one of the benefits is you don't have to worry about the logistics of moving people from a church or wherever your ceremony is held to the reception venue. So it really worked and was easier for us to just, we, and we found a space that could accommodate that too. So um, I think once we found that, it was it was a preference that we have everything in one location. Okay. Okay, so when I went to look at the space and I saw that um, there was a um, lounge area automatically I knew that I wanted to separate the spaces because when I go to weddings a lot of times, I'll see where they turn off the music and the younger folks kind of go sit down and then the band comes on and all the older folks start dancing. So I really wanted to give everybody an experience without taking away from one or the other. So we decided to um, keep the band playing but take the DJ downstairs so that the younger folks could continue with the experience that we were having. And I think after dancing with the band for about an hour and a half, we went downstairs for like maybe an hour and a half to two hours. Um, we had like midnight snacks and we had a whole different experience downstairs with um, our, our guests while our parents had a good experience with their, with their guests. And um, for me, I feel like it was priceless. Um, everybody had a great time. The next day I was getting text messages like, let's do it again. I'm like, no, we're not gonna do it again. But um, it was just great. And just seeing the, the space automatically gave me that idea to separate them and, um, you know, just make it different and make it unique and make it honest.